no time for you. Battle one. Fight! Enslave another prisoner to the thorns! Submit! Welcome to the stage of history retold. Ivy. Punishment time. Boldo. <laughs> Battle 
one. Fight! Welcome to the stage of history retold. I the punishment time. Siegfried. I will end this nightmare. Enslaved, no one escapes. 
You missed your chance for mercy. Curse the ill fortune that led you to me. The you Battle one. Fight!
Welcome to the stage of history retold. This Wise choice. Getting busy with the Solomel. I did not know he played uh, Solomel. That's actually pretty great. It's the Solomel. There's a fucking L there. You know you can't say that. This is esports. Too late. <laughs> All right. Bad. True. True. I hope nobody's told me that because I swear every time I'm on stream. <laughs> Argonross actually has a good Raphael, but this isn't his main, is it? I'm not sure, but you know, Argonross tossed that salad like he worked at Olive Garden. Mm, that means it's not very good. We're going to have to recall this for some Mysteria. Let's see what Red X has to say about that. Oh. Same move. Three times? Come on, son. Oh, wow. A little nice actual combo by there. Oh. Critical edge guard impact. This is anime. He's giving them the Dio. That's legit. Now, what is that orb around him? It lets, it's a it's a curse mark. So sir, uh, there's certain moves that uh, Solomon has that can stop time, and depending on how long, how many curse marks he has placed on his opponent is how long the time stop will be. And uh, he probably could have uh, used that. That would have been very helpful. I mean, in that it's situation. a comp You have to use, like start a combo with it. You can't just randomly stop time. Oh, I see what you mean. Now. Oh, he's that guarding though. Yeah. Like it's good to to do the Solomon's. Uh, Critical Edge when you're getting pressured Ooh, because it's a guard attack. But, you know, if you're just throwing it out by random, it's not, it's not smart. Oh, like, like that? that? Yeah. Okay, that was actually really nasty. And he had two, so it doesn't actually last too long, does it? Uh, you can I can't believe that reversal still hit him. That's what you did. You can only stack up to three. Okay. But, like, it, it's really useful when you have, like, when you have three plays on your opponent. Red X is Red domineering X. that round. Dominating. I like true. Ooh, that was a uh, clashy. Now, what was that? Can you inform me what that was? But I don't got it. <laughs> I don't know. It happened a couple times in the last match. It's really flashy. What, they clashed or? No, it's, there's something else he did. I don't know. If it pops up again, I will definitely let you know. Soul charge, man. Ooh, that. Lethal, lethal hit. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. Lethal hits can break armor. Oh, this is Raphael a Oh my god, great grab. Oh, Argonaut's up one. Yeah, solid mix-ups by Argonaut right Red there. X, Red X didn't have to find an answer. Yeah, that uh, fourth round was actually really good, but... Uh, he's, cl he's clearly struggling against Raphael's pressure. Raphael is such a fast character. With decent range, too, because the, rep the rapier can, 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 can like, reach really far. Now this is <laughs> I don't even want to try to pronounce his name. Uh, is it Solomel? Is it Solomel? I can say it. <laughs> is it Solomel? Is it Solomel? <laughs> now does he have like any other quick options, like any kicks or anything? Everybody has kicks, but uh, so Solomel is actually he's pretty good at uh, close range, truthfully, if, as long as he keeps applying that pressure, because he has a lot of moves where the scythe pulls you in. Right. Yeah, some like Gordo action right there. Don't, don't compare him to my sweet prince. Ooh, <laughs> lethal hit. Ooh. Break his armor uh -oh. again so I can see Some a shirt. Some buttons right there and a guard break. That's actually pretty great. You can tell both of them are like pressure heavy players, and so when they're being out pressured, they tend to struggle. Right. That's how I play. Yeah, that they was, immediately try to go for just basic blocks or whatever, but Argon Ross has actually been on it, been able to catch him off of the. Uh, grabs. Yeah, but Red X throwing out the random critical edge is not smart. Ooh. Ooh, soul Charge pushing, pushing back. Yep. Argonaut just needs one good mix. Ooh, is that plus? That was actually really good. Solid hit. Yeah, guard break attacks are plus. You can tell it's guard break when they have the, the lightning, the blue lightning. That's okay. Lethal hit. 
Oh. Flash Red X went for the critical edge, but Aryan Ross slapped him out of it. Red X trying to say that first match was fluke, that he's here to play. Oh no. Ooh, Going for the grab, the grab himself. Oh no. It's 1 1. I didn't know that you could uh, actually attack out of a grab. Like. Some grabs, yeah. Like, I think this is a solemn mills, like, if, you're, if you press forward and grab at the same time, you can go into his lethal hit that places the curse. Oh, wow. Okay. That's actually pretty nasty. Oh, good tag. Attacking really isn't that, isn't that hard in this game. Because you can press you can press any attack button and the yeah. direction. Only time it's like if you do a back throw, then you have to you have to press back in an attack direction. So you have to know that they're gonna do a back throw. But normal grabs from anywhere on screen usually pretty easy to attack as long as you're pressing buttons. Yeah, like you were saying before, this uh each of them going for their own game when they out pressure each other, they just don't have an answer for it. None of them are really doing like movement options either. Like none of them are really sidestepping. Yeah, there was only they're a couple of times. They're doing a lot of vertical attacks. And if, see, if he, if he holds the reversal edge all the way, it will automatically initiate a flash even on block. Oh, wow. Red X, is, this is an insane combo. I'm taking like 60% with this. Argonross on the way there. Just sit down Ooh. there. Argonross answering. Oh, critical edge. Yeah. That guard impact is nasty. And he broke. And the thing about losing armor is that then that makes your, that it lowers defense. So uh, damage is more. That's actually intense. It's the small things in this game that just add up. That's there's, so cool. There's three different like armor breaks. You can break upper body twice and then lower body once. This reset with these guard breaks are just really overpowering Argonauts right now. I mean, but he's in critical edge, so. That's true. Or he's in soul charge, so anything can happen. Uh, but it looks like he's just burning meter up right now, and he's out of it. Yeah. Damn, and a quick 3-0 for Red X. And your boy is up, Snoogan's out. All right. All right, well, it looks like this rivalry is about to take off. We got winner's finals coming up between Sugans and Broken Alliance Red X. Dude, I don't know anything about this game. Just, you can literally sit down. I know nothing about this game. You can totally do this. That's true. <laughs> That's all I do. Finals is not happening. I was not sure, not right about that. But we got Argon Ross versus Snugan in Loser's Quarters. This man is doubled up on mics right now. <laughs> He's got, just got everything pointing at his face. <laughs> uh, this is actually going to be a really difficult match because if uh, Argon Ross does play Raphael against Nightmare, Raphael actually has some decent mix ups. And if Argon Ross actually sidesteps, he can actually get around Nightmare really easily. But we didn't see that too much happening in the uh, Red X match, so uh, that's only something I can hope for. 
So as someone personally, me, who's never seen too much or heard about Soul Cow, mm -hmm. just let me know what's going on for some of this. Well, don't worry. Like, I've only played the second one, and so I was very young and knew nothing. I just played it because Link was in it. So, and I only had Nintendo consoles, so. Now yeah. we have the the Witcher in there as well, and a few other characters. Oh, yeah, we have Garal from the uh, Wister, uh, Witcher. <laughs> Yeah, I know someone pet was playing him earlier. Oh yeah, we had Nightmare. Oh, such a cool character. Starting off with a launcher. Oh my god, get out of here! And I actually did not think Argonauts would go Misurugi, but Misurugi and uh, Nightmare have been the ca cast since like the very beginning. So since the very beginning that you mentioned yep. it. There's a lot of lore about uh, SoCal that include either passing on lineage or uh, the swords themselves that they use, the Blade Masters. Right. Like, uh, Nightmare uses Soul, Soul Edge. Uh, Night Nightmare is actually Siegfried, uh, who became Nightmare after the fact, after grabbing Soul Edge. Uh, and uh, in this game, there's also Inferno, who's like actually Soul Edge. He's like the soul of it, I guess. So there's like there's like three versions of him essentially three per people who use Soul Edge. Oh wow, Nargen Rust uh, actually tripping up Snugin. Starting off the same way he did last time. I guess this is his Akuma. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and his like, grabs are really good. Soul Charge really early is uh, pretty interesting because he's gonna burn through his meter way quick. But I'm guessing he's you know, he's making use of it, he's doing that work. Oh, guard impact, anything off of it? <laughs> that is actually not fair. So what he did, that uh, is an unblockable, and it's 360, so you have to just step away from it. But against the wall, you can't do much. Good guard impact. I don't know if Snoogus was just pressing that, but it seems like he has it down. And uh, what he's doing there with that uh, launcher, uh, he can uh, stamp them down. It pops them up. And then by hitting a uh, punch kick at the same time, he does a really quick horizontal slash. And uh, from what Snugans told me, it actually is, like, busted. Like, it works really well. Welcome to the stage of history. Sacrifice your soul to me. All right, it looks like Argon is going back to Raphael, which I think he's been doing the entire time. I feel like that was the first time he pulled out uh, Mitsurugi. Even during some of his friendlies, I noticed that he was playing uh, Raphael over here. Yeah, I haven't really seen him play Mitsurugi, so I mean, that must have been awkward pulling him out first time, especially for a tournament match, but he'll probably get something better off here. Yeah, starting off strong. Yeah, I heard uh, sidestepping oh, his... Oh, reading uh, that, yeah. Really yeah to Raphael's uh, character since he was a cross <laughs> Oh. Getting behind him. That was a really bad lethal hit, but yep, he's still on the receiving end. Uh, round one going to Argon Rust. <laughs> he's not taking it just like the first round. Unblockable was a good idea, but ooh, went for the guard impact and missed. And he's just buttons. He's trying to get through that. It's blurry, but Argon Rust will not let him up. Ooh. Oh, that was disgusting. Unblockable, good choice. But even though Argon Ross is taking these rounds, I think he just needs to make a little bit of use out of movement. And uh, that uh, little uh, glow you saw there at the very beginning, that rush of gold, uh, that actually gives him one full meter. So whoever is actually in advantage will be in a sort of a disadvantage that last match, uh, especially. Good little combo. These kicks shutting our shutting Snookins down. Quick 3-0. Alright. This is actually 1-1, one, one, so we've only got one more uh, game left here for these two. It looks like Raphael was a really good choice. I'm not sure what Snookins can do to actually get around this, because it doesn't look like he can actually guard and get around his attacks without doing unblockables. 
stab. He's going to read the roll. No, he's just going to go for the unblockable. <laughs> oh, he's going for the ring out. Nope, nothing for it. Wow. Now then, Snoogles was actually really smart there. He did two back steps there, getting behind him. Even if he wasn't going for the ring out, definitely went for the kill. And I think he's noticed that because Argonross has just been going for pokes a lot. Ooh, still not good against the wall. Reading that roll and with a grab, great choice. Wow. I'm not sure if that was a stance or just low profiling, but that was disgusting. <laughs> That was like some foresight, honestly. I think he does have a specific move that allows him to dodge that. He can look up a lot of it. And it's so smart. He know, as soon as he gets him up against the wall, he keeps using those grabs because he knows that Snoogans will grab. Going right for the special, but still grabbing. <gasps> he did buttons. That's terrible. Now this is going to take a nasty 40% here. Oh, missing. Uh oh. That'll definitely be it for. <laughs> Snoogans. Yep. Straight from Marth, critical hit. And as you see, he's got that golden flowing hair just like Siegfried. Nightmare showing his true form here. Oh, I mean, the horizontal cut going a little bit too high. Good unblockable, but it looks like he didn't really have another choice, honestly. Lethal hit, oh, but no follow-up. We're going to go through a soul charge here. Argonross is probably going to go for some heavy kicks and combos right now. Wow. Yep. <gasps> Just going straight up for soul charge to stop his combo, but still taking it up. Damn. All right. Argonross takes that, too. Long. Yeah, there really wasn't much uh, he could do there. He kept opting for the guard and uh, kept trying to punish him. Uh, trying to interrupt his uh, approach, and it just doesn't work because Raphael's pokes are too fast. He sometimes got the unblockable, but that was it. He was never able to do anything other than guard and then get hit. Uh. Good job, Snoogans. Snoogans. We got OTTW versus Liquid. Probably for the other side of uh, quarters. And before, we had the most hype set between Mr. G and Liquid yes. for winner's uh, quarters, I think. And it was amazing. Some of the most ridiculous last hit situations. But Mr. G uh, pulling out some strong 3-0s actually in the end there. His Ivy is actually something to be reckoned with. That's a scary character. And I'm not sure who uh, OTTW plays. You can imagine it's probably like, I think it's Maxi. I could be wrong though. And Maxi's really good because uh, he's buttons in this game. Like, he has really good buttons. Really good round one right there. It's, I, I, it's a button check, yeah. <laughs> choice of Aswell. Aswell's like alright, but he just has like Oh no, he has really Is obvious pokes. Character? Not really. He does have really good pokes. Uh, and like good options. But the thing is is that he has to summon the weapon and then attack with it. So when he attacks it's obvious. So like I don't not I'm not sure if he has any mix ups like out of it, like stances or whatnot, but 
I don't know. It feels like really easy to just uh, block his approach. But there probably is like some nasty, you know, combination or something I'm overlooking here. But we'll see because Song Mina is actually uh, she's actually seriously good. She's uh, got like a lot of reach because she's got a uh, Nakanata. And also, I really dig her special because she turns into a Beyblade. Having flashbacks to the other juicies. No. <laughs> 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 Blocking. Yep. She jumps on. Yeah. She has like really slow horizontals, but they're really good. And this isn't good for Aswell because now he's actually going to take uh, more damage from Song Ooh, No follow up after the lethal hit. Get the grab. And soul charge. Anything out of it? Oh no! That's another ring out. And a three zero. -oh, wow. This is a character that like, turns into Nightmare later. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's kind of interesting because he had an interaction when he first was picked saying, I'll end this Nightmare. <laughs> so. Yeah, and you see like he has the same AoE uh, blockable. Except it's not an unblockable in this case. Uh, it's just like an AoE effect. OZDW is uh, doing work with Sonic now right now. I'm really liking his use of horizontals. And it's really messing up Liquid. Oh wow, I can't believe that I actually missed. Ooh, cool. Yeah, he these are getting stuff no matter what he's trying. Ooh, good cancel right there. Ooh. No, please no. Oh my god. That was actually wild. It was so smart. He mixed them up for the third time. He thought he was going for the same thing, but he just waited. Actually amazing. Good shit by Liquid. Ooh, that little micro spacing. I really like that step back and step forward in. But oh, did he just duck under that? Oh, no finish here. He's going hard for it. He's gonna get ringed out. Oh, good tech right there. Finishing out with the one, two, three. Looks and, like he's uh, found his pacing. Yeah, no, for real. Liquid's, uh, oh, yeah, that vertical hit is nice, but it's uh, definitely dodgeable. Ooh, good kick right there. I don't think he was expecting it. Getting uh, kind of fancy there with it, doing it again. Ooh, actually getting caught by that low hit. Oh, damn. And that was actually just a string of unblockables. I 
you see what you mean by Beyblade. Yeah, it's, it's uh, pretty intense. Oh, missing that vertical. Yep. And here we go, Beyblade. It's actually a super dope special. <laughs> Oh, getting caught by it again. Soul charge. What we're gonna see out of this? Oh, that doesn't reach far. Oh no, he ate the trade. I actually was not sure who won that, but good, good work by Liquid. Oh, I actually forgot to score here. Dang. But one more. See what OTW can do out of this now, because as as our own juicy conflict of interest was saying, he's definitely found his own pacing. Ooh, going for the guard, Ooh, not going back into the reversal. Ooh, and kick catching it. Oh wow, and launching him up. Oh great launcher and the. Using that move correctly, that was actually a really sick combo. Ooh. Uh oh. Ooh, I was worried, but that was actually some good spacing by Liquid. Or maybe you got very lucky. Oh, hitting him with the reversal. What's going on? Soul charge. <gasps> Ooh, I'm pretty sure she was invulnerable. And then he tried to challenge. Yeah. I'm not actually sure what occurred there, though. That was intense. Because she definitely just dodged like two or three hitboxes. <laughs> or, well, she just invulnerable went through them. But Liquid looking to end this quick. Oh, but good guard by that. <laughs> that would have been a game ending kick right there. Or round ending. Actually catching the special. Mm, great way to end round three. So you mentioned earlier that uh, I noticed that they keep losing pieces of armor or clothing. You said, is that part of them taking more damage? Yeah, Snoogan's uh, told me. Oh, wow. With that crazy, oppressive stunt right there, pushing him right off. Now we're actually in the game, round five. Liquid going with a soul charge for quick and misses the unblockable. The blocks I saw me now, but opens up right through buttons. This is too much. Going for it? That actually worked. He literally just, wow. I saw, it looked like he was going for the edge there, trying to get the ring out, but the wall saved him initially. But it's, that was uh, impressive. Uh, to say the least. Liquid was able to really abuse that option there, uh, but that exploitation was what got him the game, so it doesn't matter. Oak CW uh, definitely took that. Solid work there. Verse 2-0 with that Siegfried. And also really pulling it off right there. I honestly did not expect that. Because <laughs> there was actually OCW, I think, 3 0 to that first round, right? Yeah. He, uh, that's first when game. he was, uh, I think he had, was, was it Nightmare? No. Yeah, he was playing Nightmare, I think. Or no, no. Um, who was he playing round one? Because it looked like for a second he was going to pick Maxi, like you mentioned earlier, but he, cha he changed his mind and went with uh, Siegfried. Well, it looks like we have Mr. G up next. I'm not sure uh, what maps this is, though. I'm assuming it's loser semis. 
unless Lucia's quarter is still going on. This is actually a pretty stacked bracket. We've got uh, 20 people deep right now. So it was Red X and Mr. G? Yes, sir. Just have a friend of fire, so. I saw a dope showcasing of Ivy <laughs> by Mr. G before. So this will actually be a really interesting uh, matchup right here because <laughs> this is going to take a lot of movement on Red X's side to get away from uh, Ivy. Uh, and that's not what we're used to seeing from him since he's so normally aggressive going after them with uh, those crazy hits. Yeah. Starting off with the low. <laughs> They're actually going right into it. <laughs> Oh, technique grab. Yeah, Mr. G is definitely just like checking out right now. Ooh, but going for an unsafe option. I don't think he meant to do that uh, far away reaching. Ooh. Does he hope that he was going to get up from that? <laughs> I'm not sure. Ooh. Ooh, grabbery was good. Not sure what happened there. <laughs> Going for the scorpion and blocking that. I actually thought that was unblockable, or maybe it's just a lethal hit. right there. Oh, but still getting around. And he really does like that double side step, but it's really good. Yep. Good punish by Mr. G, though. Yep. And that's just the only problem with uh, Zazamel and other characters who have a big weapon. Sometimes their startup is just way too much. You're able to just guard it, and you can react. Yeah, but that would have been a good time. I don't know why he went for the guard. I think he expected to be punished there, but he could have uh, committed. The reversal edge. I think we're going to go for a guard, though. Yep. Looks like reset. Ooh. Yep, sidestep doesn't work, so it's too late. But crit critical edge, though. And that's actually one of the great things you can do after that. Rex has a decent lead right now. But, I mean, this is a very even game. Ooh. Ah. 
dead. <laughs> that was actually really dope. Oh, lethal hit. Good starting off. Getting that trophy too. Good job. Good. Critical edge again. Going for the soul charge, Mr. G trying to go through this. Oh man, going for the hard reads. Mr. G just stepping around that though. Ooh, calling him out. Really good challenge right there. It's good he committed. Alright. So Red X making a showing right off the bat. I was actually thinking that Mr. G was gonna take it, not gonna lie. Going ahead and putting the counter on him. Ooh, good lethal hit and stopping time. Great little combo. He's at 60 percent. I don't know how he did that, but he didn't ring out and he actually saved him. I think he would have ringed out if he just didn't complete that combo. He's still hitting him with reversal. Ooh. This is you getting the Oh, that was so smart. Oh, that actually took it. I did not think that would kill him, honestly. So you mentioned uh, that this unexpectedly. Uh, I know that she didn't have armor because he's been doing lethal hits. So she actually, Mr. G might have died because of the increase of damage he took. Good use of the unblockable, blocking that third hit. Oh, with the reversal edge. Let's see what happens. Oh, wow. I can't believe he won out. Red X really showing his... Probably got some really heavy experience with reversal edge already, honestly. Oh, good grab by Mr. G. This could be bad. Yep, great sweep. Mr. G, he has meter. Ooh, a good set by Red X. Ooh, good tech. I'm just getting hard for that, taking a good 30%. He's really patient now. Mr. G is really working this round. He's actually finessing. <laughs> Third tech. He is literally not letting him touch him. Oh, there we go. I spoke way too soon. Oh, he's got three counters. Good special, though. Damn. Ryze looks like he's coming back. <laughs> Saw a little pause there, but he actually does not have armor right now. So they're both in the same boat. Oh, and right there, he actually has full meter right now. Thanks. Oh, right at, like, the last frame right there, almost. <laughs> He still has me though, which is a really good thing. Ooh. Did he sidestep it? Oh, he blocked yeah. it. Yeah. It was a really good option. If he was not guarding beforehand, he would have not he would not have been able to block. Good setup by Mr. G here. Taking a good 20% and still going hard with a sweep, but great sidestep by Red X. Oh man, he is really forcing. He wants it to get this last stock right here. Make sure he does not get this game, because Mr. G will. Ooh. Red X taking that game uh, round four, and just like before, Mr. G is actually oh, receiving at that part. Yeah, he didn't. I don't think he was expecting it the first time and the second time. Oh no! Okay, this is actually bad. Yep. You know when your man wakes up and uh, he specials. Oh, he's still catching him. I thought he sidestepped. Oh, a lethal hit. This is not good for Red X. He's on the last throws. Yep, he's in critical condition. That's a block. Oh wow, still catching. He's gonna need some crazy luck right now to get through this. He tries to challenge him, Mr. G. Okay, there we go. I was worried. 
But there we go, 1-1. One, one. It's actually an intense winner's finals right now. Oh, missing that grab. Well, not really grab, but you know, <laughs> hooks them in. Oh, going for the sidestep, but Mr. G's waiting just a little bit for it. He's kind of expecting it. Low profiling. <laughs> it's amazing how back and forth this round is. Oh, going for the back grab. That's actually really smart. Can't tech those easily. That's sick. Really good, really good work right there, Mr. G. Ooh, launching him. Get out of here, Reversal. I did not know you could launch them out of that. Usually you just take the hit. Rex is getting better with the reactions as soon as uh, Mr. G whips. And that might just help him clutch this game out right now. Both going for the Did Relics cancel this? Lethal hit. And now I'll end that. That was wild. Kept replaying. <laughs> Ooh, calling out his approach the first time, but not missing that second time. And taking some heavy damage from Red X. That's a really good thing. Ooh. Somehow the hit. Sets. Side steps around. It's always a good choice. Ooh, yeah. That's always a good thing. You with your special, it's my turn. Ooh, they both waited there. Spaghetti. He still got hit by it. Oh my god. I think he walked into it. Yeah, yeah. I think he like sidestepped and that had some horizontal hitboxes right there. But he's missing his helmet. My man might have a concussion. <laughs> then what do you call what she has? Um, that's a choice. <laughs> <gasps> oh, that was actually hot, Mr. G with the little get out of here kick. Insurance, <laughs> for sure. Actually, yeah, Chris Cleans, I have no idea why you didn't come out here. Like, I barely know who you are, but I know you're actually, like, one of the good ones out there who play, the, who play these games, so, yeah. Strong startup from Red X. Ooh, goes for the side stuff with a horizontal catch in that. That's what you're going for the kicks, and that was a weird whip by Red X there. Did he get it? No, no. too far away. That's be really close to catch. A little kick and reset by here by Mr. Red X. Oh, I said Mr. Red X. <laughs> yeah, those, those trades. Those are awful. Ooh, back around. This is actually catching Mr. G off guard. He's not being able to do anything about those third or fourth hits after the guarding the first two. Oh, there he goes. He got the challenge. That's good. I'm pretty sure because Red X tried to go for a crazy unblockable. Oh, missing the grab. This is good, but still the challenge out of it. Good job going for the special right there. And if he did not have armor, he would definitely be down. And he knew to guard the sweep. Goes to the ground. Smart with the back grab. Ooh, but that kick not reaching. That could have been really bad because he did whip those first two hits. He stopped time but still wasn't able. He didn't have any counters, so it wasn't safe, I suppose. Well, he definitely got one now. That sucks to hear because that was your game, bro. For real. I mean, we'll definitely be holding it, you know, if people are interested, so. Yeah, but for sure, like, Soul Cow's gonna be where it's at, not gonna lie. Like, this game's so hot. 
Oh, wow. That was an insane break right there. Got guard crushing everything. Going back here. Oh, but that was some weird whiffs. And Red X taking that third round. Solid work right there, too. We're both starting off. Oh, my hard. God. Going right for it. Mr. G's not having any of that. Going for a grab of his own. He might be going for the ring out here, pushing him back. No, he ain't. I mean, he'll go for it if it's there. Oh, for sure. I thought he was just aiming for it, you know, immediately. <laughs> not expecting the grab right there. Going right for the special. Good call out right there. This won't take it, but it definitely put him in a critical position. Wow. Okay, bet. I did not think that that third hit could ring out. I did not know it had actually knockout. Yeah, yeah. For sure. We definitely uh, moved around the lineup to make sure that Sol Cal was uh, put in. And so I think that was one of the games we moved out. Uh, but it's always going to be in rotation. And for monthly, it will always be one of those things. So, you know, always going to look out for it. You're checking out the string. For sure. Oh my god, but I look away and literally Red X is just 50% of this man. <laughs> Good grab. Oh wow, I'm just going for the low twice. Alright, whatever works. Red X domineering right now. Pioneering. Bringing it back. Mm -hmm. Oh, good sidestep, but I don't think he expected to actually not get hit, so a little delay on that crab. I think he was just worried about getting hit out of the ring. Yeah, that's very true, too. He's probably like a little bit hesitant there. But Mr. G definitely taking advantage of that round. Strong showing. Oh, missing that grab. Great low. Mr. G going for the unblockable, but nothing after it, because Red X is definitely on the game today. I'm going for the run. That's some Smash 4 stuff right there. <laughs> uh -oh. He's still guarding, man. He wasn't but Mr. G's definitely good for this. Oh, but he's definitely going to read the unblockable there. That was actually insane. Mr. G's so good at that. Taking the grab. Good sidestep, but not taking this one. <laughs> Sounds like a little like Chelsea grin right there, just with a scythe. <laughs> uh -oh, okay. And Red X definitely has meter now. He's almost at two, actually. Looks like it's confirmed at two now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is actually going to be a difficult round four, but, you know, Mr. G is definitely wrecking right now. I think he got it. All right. Taking that hit, and he's got a counter. No way, going for it again. And good block by Mr. G, but not able to hit with the jump kick. Ooh. Oh, wow, getting a lethal hit and the poke. Just trying and to space him out. Really good choice right there by Mr. G, and he'll actually take finals with that. Good play right there. He worked his way out of some uh, really crazy situations. So, you know, great job. That's right, I forgot that uh, Liquid made it up here.
Yeah, from what I see, like the uh, biggest differences in here is uh, just that uh, guard button. Uh, but Sins and Justice uh, does guard buttons. You shouldn't be uh, too far off from it. But uh, the eight-way running is uh, definitely a different mechanic because you can evade with it, so it's certainly new. <laughs> I always like mess up in this game only because like I know it's like button guarding so that works with me because like I'm really used to the button but it's X so I don't know I know I could change it but yeah <laughs> ridiculous to think of like spacing in like 3d games being like as important in this and especially with like you know the weapons especially because they all just have so much different ranges and just options I can imagine that the Soul Cal Discords are like popping off now with like combos and chains and everything. That's probably such a fun time right now, especially if like people love to lab. Like, this game is probably amazing for that. <laughs> Is right there, looking like some Dark Souls like dodging. <laughs> Did it twice. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's like expecting it still. He's doing like some Matrix moves right here. <laughs> oh, getting around that somehow. Oh no, but Arden Ross is putting some heavy pressure on him and moving around to keep him in that like area where he would get. He found a way around it, just bringing it back. Switching oh, sides. Oh, that trade pushed him out. But it looks like it would have been over anyway. Yeah, for sure. Pushing him out. Oh, good tech right there. Liquid not letting that happen right there. Bad trade. And Nargamas is definitely expecting it again. If you've seen anything of his last matches, he knows that he likes that move. <laughs> Good disrupt right there. Is he waiting for it? Yep, and now take that round right there. And uh, I think this actually breaks armor. Yeah, so. Oh, yo, dude. Take it easy. Peace. Just not able to keep up with Raphael's movements. Stepping around right now. Ooh, and going out with the kind of option right there that Argon Rust can punish. Oh, wow, I'm reading hard. Oh, great vertical right there. Argon Ross not rolling, even though he was on the edge, but a really good read by Liquid there for just getting the beautiful get up. Going into Soul Charge. He's ready for some high damage right now. Ooh, going into Reversal Edge. Ooh. Nothing can break. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Liquid 
taking the first round. All right, wow. Liquid taking that? Yeah, I actually turned around for a bit, did not expect yep. that. Oh, you missed it. Oh, wow, but he got the, oh yeah. Now he got the great. Starting right off, Liquid showing off today. And like, from what he told me, he used to play Soul Cow a lot when he was younger, and it's showing. We're going for the grab, reading that. Argonaut was also mentioning that he used to play a lot. This is what started him off, too. Oh, for real? That's actually really dope. I didn't know that was like his actual like uh, spark or to actually get into the FGC. Yeah, this is one of his beginning games. Oh, wow. Good up hit right there. Argonaut's not expecting it. Good challenge right there. Ooh. Good guard. Ooh, and Argonaut's is really good knowing when to challenge Siegfried. Taking around that. Keeping that pressure on him. Yeah, for real. Hot. Ooh, missing. Oh. Nice. Can't do anything against anime. It didn't help that he didn't have armor. Yeah, but also he lost armor again, so this is not good for Argonross. He's definitely going to take like 10% more damage now. There's other characters who have uh, damage properties increasing. Uh, for instance, uh, Garal with his uh, silver sword. Wow. I can't believe sometimes. that. That's an option. That's an option in this game. That was intense. <laughs> Very uh, anticlimactic there. <laughs> I mean, like, I just can't believe you can literally eat people off stage. <laughs> like, <laughs> Argon Ross not letting anything come down this time. Good AoE right there. Oh no. Good choice right there. Argon Ross not letting anything down right there. He's so aggressive, but it's working out. This is going to be a just waiting game. for Shakespeare's large movements and whips. I'm just punishing it every time. Mm hmm. Yeah, but there's a couple of times where he's just going in, just kind of hoping to challenge and be quicker. Uh, and it's, ooh, good dodge right there. That stance, like, is really good. And Argon Ross thinks maybe he thought he was spacing was away, but Liquid missed the grab, and, you know, that game will go to Argon Ross. And that's intense. These games are going uh, to game five, with, uh, round five every time. Uh, SPF 420 and uh, conflict of interest. <laughs> Looks like we're going to see. Oh, he's changing it up. I thought we were going to get a maxi. Crow is actually super cool because he has a bunch of stances and can uh, change out of them from a uh, twin blade to do uh, mo to do dual blade or uh, put them together and actually use them as one sword. So I also heard they changed some of the stance mechanics for uh, this new soul power. Four. Uh, some are some of them that changed up more automatic or manual. Where you I'm, have to choose. Uh, you could choose. Um, a lot of it's a uh, button holding. Uh, and there's also uh, different buttons that allow you to go into different stances. Um, and you can also just decide not to go into them as well. Oh, that demon stance with Taki is disgusting. That mecha... The Mecha Blade is actually a super dope uh, tool. If y'all don't know, even though she's not playing right now on the screen, uh, Taki has uh, two blades, and one of them actually shines purple during her demon stance, and she can do a lot of moves out of it. Uh, but if you hit someone during guard, it does chip damage, which is uh, pretty dirty. Get out. 
Oh, we got some Demon Bro right now. He's like got one of the coolest forms. Ooh, Argonaut's coming back though real quick. I mean, he was already there, but... Step back, actually. There, I don't know. I think Argon Ross did miss input there, expecting the challenge immediately. Oh, punish and wait by Argon Ross. It seems like he actually has a good handle on uh, Liquid's Grow. He's starting to get used to it because I earlier he was uh, poking and then immediately dodging, expecting uh, some of the uh, Liquid's movements to hit. Ooh, good choice right there. Good job, Luke. Damn. And Argon Ross at full meter right now. Ooh, and Argon Ross is getting a lot out of these pokes right now. Great little stance right there. Luke is taking massive damage. Just not letting Liquid in he at all. He just perfectly this man. That was actually insane. Crazy combos here, but this is a... Trying to soul charge, burning up those meters. Going to his own soul charge right now. No more meter for Liquid. He's not in a good position right now. Yep. That was some good work by Argon Ross. The battle is over. Show respect for the fallen who fought so bravely. You shall make a fine pet. So we have Loser's Finals, uh, run back between Argon Rust and Red X. This would be out of five, yeah. Huh. I thought the last one they played more than that. I thought they played up to three. Oh, you know what? I think you're right. It actually might just be up to three all around, even finals. I think that was part of the uh, rule set. Yeah. Because it looks like they only played up to two. I don't know. Yeah. The cacophony of battle cuts through the death of science. I think they just said three out of five. <laughs> Did they? I don't believe so. Liquid. 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 What's that? Did he win two times? He won twice. It's semis. Oh, okay. I was I was just confused about something. I was just confused about something. Welcome to the stage of history, retold. 
Getting the launcher pretty early in the round. Looks like we're getting a character select here. Argon Ross is changing out his Raphael, it looks like. It looks like Argon Ross is changing out his Raphael. Going back to Mitsurugi that we saw earlier that he picked, he backed off for him. Having a lot more movement happening here. And Argaros winning with that pixel of health. Now, you 
Just missing it barely, and it cost him the match. Or the round, I should say. Weird looking at the muscle because of knowing how it's supposed to look like and then seeing that work at all the way it's supposed to.
Did it to him. Some serious doubts about his Mitsuri earlier, but it looks like it's doing him really well here. Ooh, some interesting matches. But it just doesn't seem like it's enough as of now.
welcome to the stage of history we told.